How are you doing? Welcome back to Super Sages Classroom. And today I'm gonna read you another one of my favorite books when I was from when I was little. Well, The Wild Things Are by Marie Sandek. Picture story and picture by Marie Sandek. So let's get to it. Right. This one right here kind of looks it reminds me of my cousin Mel, but you're not gonna tell him. He's Harry. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind. Have you ever made mischief? Not me. And another. He's just chasing this dog with a fork. Yeah, be careful, y'all going with forks. His mother called him Wild Thing. And Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. Oh, just for chasing a dog. That very night in Max's room, a forest grew. And grew. And grew until the ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. That's so cool. And an ocean tumbled with a private boat for Max and he sailed off through the night and day. Look, Max. He even has his name. That's cool. I want a boat with my name on it. And in and out of weeks and almost over a year to where the wild things are. Look at that one right there. And when we came to the place where the wild things are, they were they roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm gonna turn back. So Max said, be still, and tamed them with the magic trick of staring into all their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all. And made him king of all wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. Oh, they're about to have some fun. Man, they're just they're just partying. And hanging around. And partying more. Now stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all the wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. What could that be? And all around from far across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being king of where the wild things are. Ah, oh, look at him. He looks lonely. And he looks kind of hungry. But the wild things cried, Oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, No. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye. Bye. And sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day.
and into the night of his very own room, where he found his supper waiting for him. And it was still hot. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. You have a great day.